First tonight, protesters with calls to defund police march from southeast Portland to Pioneer Courthouse Square. This is the scene from Sky 8 tonight as the crowd crossed into downtown. They gathered at the square to listen to several different speakers. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Haggerty. Now at this hour, some demonstrators remain downtown in front of the Justice Center, which serves as the county jail. Our reporter Mike Benner is there live for us tonight. Mike, police made a little change in that area tonight. That's right, Dan. Good evening. A major change in this area. A significant portion of the fencing that was around the Justice Center is now gone. Let me step out of the way. You'll notice that demonstrators are now uh, able to spill onto Southwest 3rd. And instead of two fences, there is one fence now keeping them uh, away from the Justice Center that, of course, houses uh, the Multnomah County Jail. If you've been following any of our coverage or any coverage for that matter, you'll know that the fence was uh, a, a source of great tension uh, out here and you know police acknowledge that that much and in a series of tweets earlier tonight uh, they explained that uh, they took down one side of the fence uh, as a show of good faith and to open up the dialogue between demonstrators and police because they know uh, that the fence um, was a divide so again they acknowledge what people have been saying for a week now and that is that, uh, you know, we need to have some dialogue. So they took that fence away, and that's where we stand at this late hour. We've been out here the last couple of hours monitoring this situation. We can tell you that demonstrators have been chanting and hollering, and according to police, they've been pointing lasers and occasionally uh, throwing projectiles um, at the officers who are up on the stairs of the uh, Justice Center, kind of keeping an eye on things as well. Now I want to show you some video that one of our photographers shot earlier this evening, um, and it'll show, um, you know, the nonviolent uh, demonstrators uh, gathering at um, Revolution Hall. We've seen that a number of uh, times over the last few weeks. And uh, tonight they marched across the Burnside Bridge, and uh, from there they went over to uh, Pioneer Courthouse Square. And, uh, you know, they are asking for police accountability and reform, uh, among other things. I want to bring you back out live here right now to the Justice Center. Um, it seems to be uh, people getting amped up right now. I see I've seen a couple things uh, thrown up at the officers here in the last uh, few moments. We've been hearing some popping sound as well. But uh, from our vantage point, our, our safe distance here, we can't tell exactly what it is, Dan, but uh, something has riled up the crowd a little bit here in the last uh, the last few moments. Yeah, I could tell just before but again, we, went to the video, we went to the video. Yeah, things seem to say that. What am I looking at there? We see police with a light up on the, the Justice Center. What, what's going on there, Mike? Right, so they, they do have some spotlights up there, or at least strong flashlights up on the Justice Center uh, steps. But, uh, you know, they'll occasionally shine a light out at demonstrators. Demonstrators will uh, respond with a, a light of their own, sometimes a laser. Uh, police have been uh, telling them not to shine lasers um, at officers, saying it's against the law and they'll be subject to arrest or crowd, uh, you know, control munitions, which, uh, you know, is, is what we've been hearing over the last several weeks of, the, of these protests. Um, something else worth mentioning, just a few blocks from our location here at Southwest 3rd and Main, uh, we did see flames. It was, at, I, I believe, at 3rd and Yamhill, and uh, we think it was a, a trash or dumpster uh, that was set on fire a few blocks away. So firefighters had to come and extinguish that, uh, that blaze, and while they were doing that, uh, police officers came out from behind the fencing to kind of uh, keep the crowd back as firefighters moved in and, uh, and, and, and you know, took care of the... Uh, the blaze there at Third and Yamhill. At this point, though, we don't know exactly, you know, what caused that fire, but we have seen a number of fires set over the last week or two, uh, you know, by demonstrators, intentional fires, uh, that is. But again, this is the scene out here uh, at the 11 o'clock hour. One, one major change, again, that we mentioned at the top of the broadcast was the fence um, that bordered uh, the west side of Southwest Third is now gone. Uh, giving uh, demonstrators a chance to get a little closer to the Justice Center. Police telling us uh, in a series of tweets that uh, they wanted to get rid of that divide, that divide that uh, 
you know, stood between demonstrators and police that wanted to open up the dialogue, and uh, that's where we stand right now. Dan? Now, Mike, well, this has gone on from day after day and now week after week. We cover it uh, with different levels of attention each night, but I know you've been out there uh, for a lot of this. What have you noticed? Do things seem to be calming down at all at this point as we, we clearly see a lot of people are still gathering out there? What is your sense of how things are tonight compared to nights uh, prior to this? I've definitely seen, Dan, uh, nights uh, over the last week or two that have been uh, more intense, if you will. Uh, I think that's a good word to use. Um, this isn't as intense, at least from our vantage point. Like I said, a lot of shouting, um, a lot of, uh, you know, hollering and, you know, telling, uh, you know, police to quit their jobs, that we don't need them, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, that's what we're seeing here tonight. Uh, police have tweeted out that, you know, again, lasers are being shined at the officers as well as projectiles thrown. Um, aside from one or two projectiles, I have not seen much. But again, we're keeping our distance, you know, just for, for safety precautions. Um, and, and to pick up on your point of, you know, we, we've been covering this, uh, you know, um, at different times throughout, uh, you know, the last few weeks. A uh, 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 reason that we're out here tonight is because of the fence coming down. It, it, that is a big deal. I know, you know, some people sitting at home might might say, oh, it's it's just a fence. And of course, you know, that it, it actually came up with its own uh, or people came up with its own Twitter handle for the fence. But it really was a big deal. Like it, it, it is a, a great source of tension out here. And, you know, parts of it have been cut out over the last several days, parts of it knocked down. And uh, police realized that they, they knew there's a divide there. And so they wanted to get it down and open up the dialogue. In fact, if I can have my photographer, if we're still live here, pan to the right and uh, right under under the light here. We've been watching for the last hour or so. Uh, there's been three or four demonstrators and this is a uh, half a block away. Uh, this is about a half block away from, well, they're now calling this a civil disturbance and an unlawful assembly. They're now trying to close this whole area and they're telling everyone to leave or they'll be subject to arrest and again crowd control munitions but again i, I just want to point out what we're well a little hard to i'm not sure if you can still hear me dan i got you mike i just want my photographer here though to show again what's happening here about a half block from the large crowd of demonstrators is for the last hour or so we've noticed um, a few demonstrators speaking calmly uh, with officers and I, and I think that was one of the reasons why police took down the fence that they did is to allow demonstrators to get a little closer to officers and here you have a nice conversation going about a half block from from the much larger crowd All right, Mike um, but again Mike, yeah, thank just, you. Just yeah. to recap, Dan, yeah, go ahead. I'll send it back to you. Go ahead. No, yeah, appreciate that. And I, I think that was an interesting uh, thing to show there that you have the, the crowd we're focusing in on now that's being called a civil disturbance and being broken up. We saw things being thrown at police, but then we pan over and a block away. We see a demonstrator shaking hands with a police officer after a conversation. So, um, again, this has been night in and night out right here at the Justice Center, a part of the fence coming down tonight. We have Mike out there. We'll continue to monitor this situation as police appear to be breaking up the crowd here this evening in downtown Portland. Mike, thank you.